Hey everyone, it's Ferial at Techmetric, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing how you can set up your part matrices to auto apply to specific part types available today in Techmetric. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly review what I'm referring to when it comes to part types. So if we navigate into an RO and quickly add a job, and then go ahead and add a manual part, you'll notice that we have three different part types today, a general standard part, a tire part type and a battery part type. You can now set up your part matrices to auto apply based on the part type that is added to the job today. So to go ahead and set that up, let's go ahead and navigate into shop settings. We're going to go into markups and here we're going to configure the desired part matrix to be set up to a specific part type. In this example, my general part matrix right now is applied to all my part types. But let's say I build out a tire matrix and a battery matrix. I can now go in here and set auto apply to tires. And this will remove the tire part type from my general part matrix to now be associated with the tire matrix and then the battery part type here. Once I have this set up, let's go ahead and navigate back into an RO and let's just show you guys an example. So real quick, just so we remember, this is my tire matrix. And I'm going to go ahead and add a tire job. So let's mount and balance. Let's do two tires. I'm going to click to add parts and let's go ahead and shop for the parts. We're going to go in here. And I'm going to select these tires. They are going to be delivered today. I'm only going to need two. Let's go ahead and add to the cart and submit the quote. Perfect. And you'll notice the cost is 119 and 81 cents. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now you'll notice that the retail is at 197 with the total cost of 395. And if I go ahead and click the edit pencil real quick, you'll notice it came over as a tire part type as well. Now, if I go into my markups for the tire matrix, you'll notice the 119 falls into this range, which is a multiplier of 1.65. So if I go ahead and calculate this on my calculator and I do 119.81 times the 1.65 markup, I get 197.69, which is the retail cost we have for each quantity of tire. And now the total is 395. So you'll notice how I auto apply the tire matrix and you did not have to update it within the estimate today. Overall, this is how the part matrices work. Of course, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support team. Have a wonderful day.